Hi, I'm Richard Epcar, and I'm the voice of Bateau in Ghost in the Shell. I'm Ansem in Kingdom Hearts. I'm the Joker in three Batman games. More to come, I hope. Uh, I've been in a lot of games, Skyrim, uh, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. I'm Raiden in Mortal Kombat, who's the leader of Mortal Kombat, if you, if you know anything about Mortal Kombat. And uh, I mentioned Skyrim already, didn't I? Uh, Final Fantasy, I'm the Gaius in Final Fantasy. The new one just came out. I'm in 14 and 15. Uh, I'm in Saints Row. I play Cyrus Temple. And uh, a gazillion other characters that you probably know and love, such as Chief Sycon on Legend of Korra and Nickelodeon. So these are just a few of the characters that I do. I do close to 400 different characters in animation, games, and anime. And uh, I'm a well-known voice actor, so that's why I come to places like this, like London Comic Con. They, they ask me to travel all over the world, and who am I to say no to them? So I go everywhere, and I have a lot of fun. I get to meet my fans, because you know we're in dark booths all day. So it's kind of nice to come out and meet the people that really appreciate the work we do and, and stuff like that. So we have a great time doing that. And I'm also I'm an on-camera actor as well. I do that, and a lot of different things, stage actor. So I still do all that as well. But I'm primarily known for my voice work. How did you get into voice work? Well, that's an interesting story, and I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, I went to Los Angeles as an on-camera actor, and my wife over here, Ellen Stern, uh, and I, uh, she was actually working on a small movie, and they needed someone to replace the voice of someone in another movie they were doing because they didn't like the voice. So I went in there, and the guy said, have you done this before? I said, oh, I've done it a million times. I never did it before in my life. And I went in and I got the lead in this movie. So after that, they loved me and they had me come back and do a bunch of other stuff. And see, I'm a drummer also, and there's a rhythm to this stuff, especially dubbing. So I think I took to it as like a duck to water because of that. And after that, I started doing tons of work for them. And from that, I w went into Robotech, which was a big anime in the 80s. And from that, I just went and did all kinds of stuff, uh, Digimon, X-Men, uh, uh, you know, Speed Racer, a lot of, lot of stuff like that. So. Or do I? Well, you know, that's easy now because we have technology. So when you do, like, well, you know, if you're on a series or you're doing a, a series on, a, on games, like I do a lot of these uh, different characters on games, and you go away for a while and you come back months later and you go, well, how is he going to remember it? It's because they have what we call a sample, and the engineer plays you the sample of what you did before. And as soon as you hear it, you know exactly what that voice is and you re recreate it. <clears throat> as far as uh, knowing what kind of uh, voice to do, uh, a lot of this stuff is very, very secretive. So when you go in, it's not like a normal job when you, as an actor where they give you a script and you study it and you go in and you do it. This, you kind of go in and you cold read it and it has to be a performance, essentially. When you cold read it, it has to be as good as a performance. And, you know, it takes time and uh, you know experience to do something like that to make that work and I've been doing this work almost 30 years now which is hard to believe because I'm only 35 but uh, um, you know it's just worked out well and I've just really taken to it and I enjoy it it's wonderful and I get to do a lot of different characters and the cool thing about being a voice actor is you can be as many characters as you can imagine vocally so as an on-camera actor or on stage or you know you're, you're basically relegated to the way you appear but as a voice actor you can be any character that you can create vocally so in a way you're almost more creative and more of an actor in certain ways because you know you look at most of the people on television they're basically playing themselves in every single part they do and a lot of a lot of movie actors are like that too but with this stuff you can be all kinds of different crazy characters <laughs> Well, I'd have to say the Joker. Well, princess, didn't somebody call me that and I killed him? He should have known I'm the only Joker around here. <laughs> How do you form the voice? It just comes out of me. I mean, it's, uh, you know, some people go through a whole process where they analyze this, they analyze it. I just go in and basically if I can see a picture of the character, I'll come up with a voice for him. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it's just like I say, it's experience doing it a long time. And uh, the, hard, the hard voices are the, like the ones in 
in uh, uh, Call of Duty and Spec Ops and those kind of games where you're just yelling your butt off for hours. Those are the hard ones, because those just blow your pipes out, and you're basically just screaming and screaming. So those are the hard ones. The other ones, creating a character, that's easy. You know, you're just acting, you're becoming another character. Have you showed your voice on that $10 million? Yes. Really? I'm ready to collect. 